I went to Sci Academy. I was a student. I was literate until 14. So, and what I had to do is I had to catch up. And a school like Sci Academy took a student like me and took, that, uh, took a chance with me. Wow. And what Sci Academy did was they improved me. And I think that is a good school. Welcome to the White House, everybody. And let me begin by thanking Troy and sharing his remarkable story. You know, I could not be more inspired by you know, what he's accomplished and can't wait to see what he's gonna accomplish in the future. My name is Troy Simon, and I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. I couldn't read until I was 14. I was held back twice and developed aggressive strategy skills to hide my illiteracy. My report card routinely confirmed my failure. But at 14, I decided to change my life. I know that it took me to be committed to education. But I also know that it took others to help me. I couldn't do it alone. Today's event is not about me, but it's about every kid in the United States of America, ensuring that they will succeed and get a chance to reach that intellectual potential. Before Hurricane Katrina, school was uh, really hard for me. Uh, growing up in the Lord Ninth Ward, having trouble with illiteracy, I went to first grade, second grade, third grade without knowing how to read. And that was really, really hard for me. And even outside of school, I had a tough time. So I would hang out late at night, smoke, drink, get into a lot of violence. Sometimes I would run the street with my friends, tap dancing and snatching purses in the French Quarter. Um, I tap danced because I figured that was a way to sort of get away from the world I was living in, poverty, um, on the borders of starvation. When Hurricane Katrina hit, I was in the fifth grade. School just started, we didn't have no food, no water. I know that people were looting, so we were looting too. Not because we were violent and dangerous people, but because we needed something. We needed food, we needed something to sustain us. I but the media tried to portray us as bad people, you know, criminals who are just doing corrupt things. But no, we were trying to survive. That's all we were trying to do. So the switch came when I decided to change my life at age 14. I got into religion. Then religion became the root. Then that's when God told me what I need to do, get into education. So I started studying in the library for grueling hours. Started paying attention to my fifth grade teacher who would tell me, hey, Troy, you can make it, you can make it. She would always tell me this. Got enrolled in an after school program called Urban League College Track, uh, which is College Track now. And uh, they helped me flourish academically. That's when I left the school I used to go to, went to Sci Academy. That's when I really began to understand that charter schools, they do good to the community, uh, the students. They have this love for education. I mean, maybe sometimes they're probably a little bit too tough, but I think that they're tough because they care and they love the students that they teach. Going to Sci Academy, I was able to win that scholarship and also, I was able to receive help with my writing. That's when I was asked to speak at the White House and introduce First Lady Michelle Obama. So, it is my pleasure to introduce someone who has shown great support and confidence in our nation's young people. Someone who is working to help other students have a future as bright as mine. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our First Lady Michelle Obama. Thank you. And I'd also like us to give a really big hand uh, to Troy for sharing that story. 